Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this Fusion Minis episode, I will talk a little bit about shadow casting in Fusion's 3D space. Okay, and here we are in a blank Fusion composition. What we now obviously need to do is to create ourselves something to play around with. Shift spacebar opens this select tool menu and what I need now is the shape 3D node. Okay. Here it is. I hit one to make it visible and I want this to be the ground the ground plane. So I need to rotate it on the X axis by minus 90 degrees. I also need to scale it up quite a bit. Something like this. And now I need a second shape 3D node. With this one selected, I once again hit shift spacebar, open a second shape 3D node. They will be merged together in this merge 3D node, which is the one I am showing up here right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And my second shape 3D node will be a cube. Now I activate light and shadows for the image view and move my cube up just a touch. Something like this. Okay, now on to the lights. I select my merge 3D node and under tools 3D light you will find all the available light sources in Fusion. Ambient, Directional, Point and Spotlight. Oops. The one you need to generate shadows is the Spotlight. Here it is. Now everything is black, but don't worry, everything is okay. Raise it up and move it out. Um, maybe play with the intensity, double it, yeah, like this. Okay, and this back here is the shadow. You can see it better by offsetting the lamp on the x-axis. And that basically is what I wanted to show you. You need to use this spotlight and you need to activate shadow for the viewport. Otherwise, boom, the shadow is gone. Um, if you do not see a shadow and you are using a spotlight and you activate a shadow, chances are your cube is not, whoops, lighting, your cube is not generating one because it's not a shadow caster. Maybe. Or your ground plane. Oh, damn it. Or <laughs> your ground plane is not a shadow receiver. Boom. By default, it should be, but who knows? Um, yeah, that's it. Spotlights generate shadows. Have fun trying this out. I hope you liked this episode. If so, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, okay, bye.